Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe series that came out in 2021 got absolutely destroyed by people who were upset that it was a bait and switch. Kevin Smith promised us it was all about He-Man, yet it wasn't. It was the Tila series about a strong, powerful woman who really didn't need a man to help her. But now we're finding out that Masters of the Universe Revolution, which is a sequel to the 2021 series, will be premiering in 2024, and it, of course, is getting destroyed. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting the channel through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So, I wanted to start off with this Cosmic Book News article. It says, Fans on the fence regarding Kevin Smith's He-Man Masters of the Universe Revolution series. Now, I do not have any hope for this. I don't have any faith in this because I tried to give Netflix and Kevin Smith the benefit of the doubt when the first one came out. Um, I, I, I really did try, right? Because I like He-Man a lot. I know so many of you do as well, and it could have been great. Great. It didn't look bad visually. It just unfortunately was poorly written. He promised us it was going to be all about He-Man, and spoiler alert, months after it was released, he was boasting about the fact that he killed He-Man not once, but twice in it, and now he expects us to believe him, that this is actually going to be all about He-Man, and I just can't trust him, I can't trust anybody working on this project, but now that we have a full trailer for it, people are definitely pretty upset with it, people are on the fence, it says fans are on the fence after getting burned on the first part regarding Kevin Smith and Netflix's Masters of the Universe Revolution, which is the second season of the series. The first season saw Kevin Smith bait fans, and then the show took a big bait and switch and went woke AF. Kevin Smith lied and He-Man died, often trended on Twitter. This was a hilarious time because he was constantly trying to deflect, saying, well, you guys are just babies and you need to grow up, and it's not that serious, but it is that serious. To people who have loved something like He-Man for maybe their whole entire lives, it is a big deal to them. And that's okay. It is okay to have a love and a special spot in your heart for characters, for a certain franchise. It doesn't matter. And people like Kevin Smith should not bring you down. But it says what's really odd is that the producer behind the series had claimed to be a massive He-Man fan and said he has garages full of action figures, but then why did the series shit all over He-Man and the fans? It was, yeah, it was, it was a bad situation all around. It was basically, if you're a if you're a fan of older He-Man, well, you're not welcome here. This isn't a series for you. This is a new, modern take on He-Man, and of course, it focused primarily on Tiva. Tila and uh, Evelyn, but now that we've gotten this new this new uh, trailer, it's getting it's getting roasted. I mean, this Cosmic Book News article had showed the scores yesterday when it had launched. Uh, as of recording this video, it was at 1.7k likes and 1.2k dislikes, so it was almost equal, but now it is at 3.5k likes and 3.3k dislikes, so as the trailer has been up, it has, th the likes and dislikes have grown at a steady pace together, so while it's not really being ratioed, having 50% of your audience who has seen this trailer and left a like or dislike on it, having it be 50-50 is not a positive thing. That is not a good thing. You want like 95% positive and 5% negative, and even that isn't isn't all that good. Um, but yeah, it is it is a near 50-50 at this point. And of course, the trailer was posted to uh, Netflix's anime page and People are not happy here either, saying things like, hopefully, at Kevin Smith, course corrects with this season and has a more masculine He-Man front and center doing He-Man stuff instead of what the last He-Man cartoons were. I have to agree, I want them to make this good. I am not sitting here saying, I hope this turns out to be trash because I don't want franchises I love and characters I love to be ruined. I don't want them to be modernized. I hope that Kevin Smith genuinely listened to feedback 
Black really honed in on what the what made He-Man special and went with it in this series, but I just can't trust him at this point. When it comes out, I will slowly watch it. I'll watch the first episode, and if it's good, I'll keep watching until I get to a point where I feel like, oh, this has gone completely off the rails, but it might not be good. I mean, unfortunately, that's just the reality that we have to face. This could be just as bad as the first season, which wouldn't surprise me. It's disappointing, but not surprising. People are saying things like, why do I sense Adam slash He-Man is going to be the bait and switch for future misandry girl boss? And because he already has been. That is what's sad. It's so sad. I mean, it, it and when that happened, Tila wasn't even the original Tila, right? She was just like, I'm not going to help you guys. I don't want to be a part of this. She would have never done that. She understood how serious the consequences were. Like, that's just not Tila. It's not like they made a great version of Tila front and center. They made a strong, powerful, I hate men Tila front and center, which was just so sad. Will this season actually involve He-Man? I hope it does. I mean, this trailer, it's not the worst trailer I've ever seen, and they definitely put He-Man front and center, but again, the first trailers for the first season did the same exact thing. Revelations trailers had He-Man front and center. That's the problem, is that it's the same thing as, as the 2021 series. And one of the worst parts about this is that Kevin Smith has no respect for the fans at all whatsoever. He hasn't said anything recently about fans, but this was from July when it had released. Kevin Smith continues to deny Masters of the Universe Revelation was a bait and switch and tells fans to grow the F up. That is not how you get people back to watch your content. That is not how you get people to give your series a chance. This is just such a unprofessional way to respond to people it's just pathetic and that is what kevin smith is a pathetic individual maybe he's changed course maybe he's actually going to respect the fans now but i am never going to forget that he told us to grow the f up simply because we did not like the content that he released maybe this will be good we'll give it a chance we'll have to see but at this point i'm sorry i don't trust kevin smith i don't trust netflix i don't trust the producers on this series and I most certainly am with the people who are giving it a dislike because I just do not think that this is going to be good just like Revelation was not good. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.